Pimpy Man is back. Oh, I'm gay, 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 Oh my gosh, the man got messed up. This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3 week. My album comes out next week. I have to limp it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. This is your point. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the and Final. <laughs> Back at it with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare for you guys. And y'all knew it was coming. Y'all knew this was coming. I was obviously going to talk about this. And rightfully so, because for those of you who don't know, I am an African-American, a.k.a. a black man living in the united states in which everything going on right now of course i'm gonna say something about it now i i will admit like it's everything that's going on in the we're well, not in the world but in this country in america is overwhelming and it's just wow you know there are gonna be some pauses because i really want to carefully um you know think about what i'm going to say here because th this is obviously a sensitive topic here and yeah that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna do any edits i'm not gonna edit anything I'm, you just go here for me wall as is so that's all i'm gonna say about that but <clears throat> for those of you who've been living under a rock so about eight or nine days ago probably 10 days ago by the time this video dropped which is wednesday we all heard about what happened in minneapolis so george floyd died or he was murdered by a police officer now, for those of you who didn't hear what happened prior to that, there was an issue over counterfeit, a counterfeit twenty dollar bill, so a fake twenty dollar bill, something along those lines. And instead of him like being arrested and taken downtown for questioning or things like that, I like there was no mention of George having a gun or repping of any kind. And it, even if he was a resisting arrest, there's no reason to kill a guy. Like, there, there's no reason to kill a guy. So, once this happened, it blew up. It really, really blew up. And this has, I mean, and it, it got to a point where it's like, okay, we had enough of this. Oh, yeah, and before I go on, parental advisory is heavily advised. I was about to let something out, and I forgot to say that. Parental advisory is heavily advised. Big time. And... You know, we gone through this shit before. Uh, there was that one incident where the police pulled somebody over, a black guy, a black guy and his wife over, and they killed him. They shot him. And, I, you know, it, it was crazy. And that's what led to the whole Colin Kaepernick taking the knee scenario, which is ironic because Colin Kaepernick taking the knee sounds about good right now, does it? For those of you... Who are opposed to everything that's going on? Colin Kaepernick taking a knee no, 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 sounds pretty damn good right about now, does it? I mean, I bet you it does. <laughs> so now you're getting the worst of it. And that's people protesting, people rioting, people, you know, destroying stuff and people looting. Now, before I move on with how I feel about all of this, so the rioters, I mean, not the rioters, but the, oh yeah, I have no problem with the protesters. Obviously, I support that. Uh, I'm all up for that. So, yes, good job for everybody who are protesting, who protest already. I really appreciate you guys and gals for doing that. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. And now, in terms of people who are rioting and vandalizing or destroying stuff, okay, and here's the thing about that. Like, I don't support it. Like, I would, like, I wouldn't look at that and say, yeah, that is the correct choice of action. Like, that is the correct answer to all this. But at the same time, I can understand it. Because I will be honest with you. There was, at one point in time, I think it was Sunday, this past Sunday, I was genuinely mad. Like, watching everything unfold on Twitter. And, you know, reading the story. Well, not reading the stories, because and that's a whole other story in a second. I'll cover that in a second. But basically, watch everything that's going on on Twitter and Instagram. I was genuinely mad. I was genuinely mad. And I really felt like destroying some shit. Like, I, I genuinely felt like destroying some shit. I'm dead serious. So I can understand people for destroying shit, but at the same time, I can't like look at that and say that is the number one best choice to respond to. No, that, that no, it's not. Like no, it's not. Protesting is good enough, but destroying shit, like even though it's not the answer, I can understand it though, because I had an urge to do it too, but I obviously I didn't do it. Now in terms of looting, looting. Okay, now 
with the whole looting thing, that's that's basically excuse people want to use. I mean, it, it's it's like they using the protests and the rioting and the destroying stuff as an excuse to loot shit. And that's that's a major no no. That's not helping the cause at all. That's hurting the cause. So, like I said, we're helping the cause is protesting and getting the word out like crazy. And everybody, and this is, and it, I'll talk more about that part in a second. But yeah, what helping the cause, what should help the cause is protesting and getting the word out. That's it. Um, if people destroy shit, it's not the answer, but I understand it. So I can't be too mad about that. But if you're looting, no, that's not acceptable. That's not helping the cause here. That's not helping the cause. Now, here's the thing that makes no sense to me whatsoever. And you know, that's how you know, uh, that's how you know leadership, you know, they, they, they full of shit. Like, they full of shit, they act like shit, they don't give a damn, they don't give a shit, or whatever. Everybody is talking about this. Everybody is treating about this. Everybody is doing interviews about this. So, and it, it got to a point where it's around the world. I seen Denmark, I seen Australia or, or New Zealand, one of those two places, probably both. It's getting to the point where it's all around the world. It's getting international. And you mean to tell me that like and like and, and the simple solution is yo, we are going to do this in this, in this, with our police department. You, you couldn't come out and say that? Like, you couldn't, like, come up with a a policy or a procedure and make it real known to everybody what it is. You get, like, you know, you couldn't come up with that? Like, really? You know, and I'm talking to the government. I'm talking to the president. I'm talking to all these officials. Like, y'all couldn't just, like, okay, we need to stop these protesters. We need to stop these rioters. We need to stop these looters. And and then and then this is gonna last. This ain't like matter of fact, let me look up this Drake lyric. Let, let me look at this Drake lyric. Uh it it kinda applies here. The opposite rather applies here. I think it's called 5 a.m. in Toronto. So there's this one part in this song, and this is old obviously, but who came in, who just came through? Like if something like this happened in the past, like the Trayvon Martin situation or what happened with the black dude who was on the freeway or any other police brutality um, involving um, African-Americans slash black people? Let me find the lyric. If this, like, back then, when something like this happened, well, not like this as in rioters, but like the whole George Floyd thing, when something like that happened back in the, like, a few years back, you know what would happen? And Drake pointed this out on point. He was on point with this. Assuming I can find the lyric. So it's not called 5 a.m. in Toronto. It's called 6 p.m. in New York. That's where it was called. So let me see if I can find the actual lady. So here we go. Here we go. Here's what he said. He said, and I quote, maybe we should try and help somebody or be somebody instead of being somebody that make the news so everybody can tweet about it. And then they start to RIP about it. And four weeks later, nobody even speaks about it. So if this was, the, you know, the Trayvon Martin scenario or any other scenario that happened in the past similar to that, this is what would happen. Like, people would be tweeting about it or speaking about it for four weeks, and then they go silent. And, I, and I'm going I'm to warn you people. I'm going to warn the government. I'm going to warn all these officials. I'm going to warn all the company heads. I'm going to warn everybody. The way things are looking, this is not going to be a four-week thing where people are just going to forget about it. This is continuing. This is an everyday thing thing and the high officials the government need to rake their asses up and realize yo these people are serious and there's a lot of them so really you have to give the people what they want so you know stop being so prideful and stop having your heads up each other asses and give the people us what we want and really what we want is that makes no sense. You know, basically equality and justice. And the fact that we didn't get that, it's kind of painting the picture that the government don't care about minorities. These companies don't care about minorities. These high officials don't care about minorities. These cops don't care about minorities. They don't care. Because I'm like, like, what, what's taking y'all so long? I mean, at least y'all could like say, yo, here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to come up with a procedure for the police departments all around the country so they can like do their job properly and then basically stall y'all y'all can stall and say that and then y'all can like spend about a week and a week and a half and then come out with a statement saying okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do this 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 and this and you know and you know gives we give the people like some leeway in terms of like yo if they don't follow true if they don't follow to these words then we could like take action legally or whatever the case may be something you know but to say yo we need y'all to calm down and go home and stop rioting no no that's not gonna fly that's not going to fly and it's just like i don't know i'm all over the place with this because it, it gets like it's get to that point where it, it's pretty much a war it's pretty much a war and i'm gonna be honest with you guys like i'm gonna be honest with you guys I, and this is something that i rarely ever do because again we we tackling serious subjects here we're going to be tackling some serious subjects here i'm gonna i'm gonna honestly suggest that y'all read chapter revelations right now because that's how things are looking right now things are looking like how they unfold in revelations like if you don't remember that story i say we read it like it is getting to that point. It is getting to that point. It's getting really scary. And, you know, in 2020, man, I said this on Twitter. I truly believe that we may not see a 2022. We may not even see a 2021. I'm dead serious. I'm dead freaking serious. So, I mean, for those of you who are right, not rioting, but uh, protesting, keep doing that. For those of you who are sharing the news, keep doing that. And we need to talk about that, too, because, yeah, the media, like, I mean, that's not all of them, but some of them are, like, trying to make it look like, oh, man, the people are looting. Oh, man, this ain't good, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, that's not the that's not the issue here. The issue here is George Floyd was unnecessarily killed by a cop, a right cop. Nobody stopped him. What? So, like, and that's a problem. And that's a problem. That's the main issue here. That's the problem. So now the issue is, what will it take for that to not happen again? That is the issue. What will it take for that to not happen again? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? As far as I heard, as far as I know of, I have not heard a damn thing about it. I have not heard a damn thing about that solution. Or I have not even heard Trump speak about George Floyd. I have not heard about it. Which is which is normal because when Colin Kaepernick was taking a knee, it was about police brutality. But Trump turned it around and said, oh, he disrespected the American flag. And I'm like, no, that's not the issue here. The issue here is Colin Kaepernick was taking a knee because of police brutality. And like I said, taking a knee on the football field sounds much better right about now than what's going on in the country, does it, huh? High officials, Trump. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of stuff, a lot of people's eyes have been open now because the CEO of Wendy's, who in memory serves it correctly, also the CEO of Popeye's and some other food chains, I don't know. He was supporting Trump. Um, you know, Facebook oh is allowing Trump to say wherever the hell he wants on that joint. And, you know, Facebook and Instagram, they put him us the same thing. And... I remember I, I was out earlier playing Pokemon Go, and I drove by Wendy's. I was kind of far away, so I couldn't see if they had a line or not. But based on what I saw, there was no line. And that was a that was somewhat of a popular Wendy's, the one I drove by. And there's no line out there. So, yeah. And, and I know I've seen some companies tweeting about it saying, yo, like, for example, PlayStation and Sony, they were going to reveal the PS5 or show some PS5 gameplay this Thursday. And I will admit, I was looking forward to it. Nope, they canceled. They postponed it because of what's going on. Call of Duty was going to do something tonight. Uh, Activists were going to do something tonight. Something about season four. As I was recording this vi video. Nope, they postponed it because of something going on tonight. EA was going to do something with Madden. Madden 21, I think, today. Nope, they postponed it because of what's going on today. And, you know, Microsoft retweeted what Sony said. You know, so there are some companies out there they are going, yeah, you know what? We support this. We support that. We're going to put our thing back because it's not the time for that. Unlike 2K, who talks to, yo, buy our VPC packs. Yo, buy our product. Man, fuck 2K. And, you know, so 
And so, you know, some of these companies, man, you can't really support them like that. It Because behind the scenes, they support Trump. And it was a sad day to find out about Wendy's, man. It was crazy. It was a sad day to find out about when, when you know, people found out about Wendy's. And I would admit, Wendy's got some pretty good ass food too. Like their fries. I truly believe like their fries are really on point. They got that Asiago chicken sandwich that's on point. And of course, there's the the frosty. But I found a recipe. You can actually make your own frosty. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm kind of wanting to try that out. See if you can do that. But that's pretty funny. But Wendy's they have some pretty good ass food, and it sucks, dude, that it like and and then all this you know and this information about Wendy C O where but you can it's you can Google it like I was in a live stream Monday night and they Googled it it was flat out on the live stream they Googled it like and then all the information was right there on the internet it wasn't like some hidden shit or anything like that it was straight up right there for the whole world to see James Dolan the president for the New York Knicks or the owner of the New York Knicks and Madison Square Garden and the New York Rangers he basically told his employees. Don't say shit about the issue going on right now. Now, and again, you know, he have given jobs to black people and not just like janitorial job. No, we talking like high level jobs within the Knicks organization, within Madison Square Garden or whatever. And he have taken care of black people, whether they're players or, you know, executive off workers within Madison Square or the Knicks organization or whatever. So that's good. But at the same time, he's friends with Donald Trump. And he does a shitty job with the Knicks. And a shitty job with basically, I guess, uh, with the, not with well, to some degree with the media, but when when dealing with people as well. So, like, that's a problem right there. So it's kind of hard to, like, support him and the Knicks. And even Madison Square Garden, which is the world's most famous arena, whatever the case may be. I could care less about that arena. That was even before all this. I really could care less about it. So you like you like so with some of these companies, you really gotta keep your eyes open. You really gotta stay informed in terms of who they supporting, what they doing behind the scenes and shit like that. In terms of the media, if they say, yo, the cops are supporting you, and I've seen this on Twitter. One minute the cops are supporting the right, the protesters, the next they spraying them with mace. Forty five minutes later, they're spraying them in the face with mace. I seen one with some a kid. Got sprayed in the face. A kid. It, it's out of control. It's out of control. And yes, all Trump says, yo, governors, develop a backbone. I'm like, what? How about you like uh bow to the people and say, okay, we're going to fix this by enforcing, or really not enforcing, but are training our police forces more and make them more accountable for their actions. So it just a lot going on. This ain't going away anytime soon. I truly believe that. Until the government cave. The government has to cave. And some of these companies, they like they gonna have to cave too because uh you know they're they're companies and and, 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 uh, and in terms of like the people who are destroying stuff, like like don't destroy every single business out there. Cause they're all small time businesses out there. Who, you know, who need the financial support. Small, like some of your fellow rioters, some of your fellow uh, protesters, they own these small businesses. So it's not like, don't destroy every single business. But, you know, destroy some, I, I, like if you want to destroy some of the bigger businesses, like for example, Walmart, like for example, well, at this point, I would say leave Target alone because Target CEO was like, you know what? I don't give a damn about my one of these stores. We can just build a new one. I'm supporting the people. So y'all can leave Target alone too. But uh like if y'all want to trash Walmart, go ahead and knock yourselves out. Trash Lowe's, go ahead. De definitely Lowe's. I think uh the CEO support the president. Go ahead and knock yourself out. If y'all want to trash GameStop, oh gosh, GameStop and the stuff I heard about them. Go ahead and knock yourselves out. You know, stuff like that. Some of the business biz bigger businesses. Go ahead and knock yourselves out. And if they take a, the same stance as Target did, then you know they on your side. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about all of that. Uh, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. We revelations. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to call it a wrap. And with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is Brian New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.